Hi guys, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So we are learning about the change detection strategy available in the Angular components. Why we use this change, det change detection strategy? So in order to increase the performance when you are working in a large scale application. So the default change detection strategy which is available in the Angular. So it is a performance intensive thing. So it will take so much of performance. So if you implement this one in a on push strategy, then you will be having you, you you can have so much of performance thing. so how we can implement this so when if you try to see here we are having a on push strategy for this child component on push component and if you try to see here for every one second i am incrementing the count and the same count i am trying to use it in the template variable so if you try to see here the same count i am using in the template now if you try to see here whenever the data is getting updated the default strategy, the account is getting incremented, whereas the on push strategy, the account is not getting increment, uh, incremented. So in order to react to the changes, so what we need to do on on push strategy. So generally, in order to react to the changes in the on push strategy, so generally it will be having something like around four ways we can do it. First one is instead of having the account variable, we need to pass it as an input variable to this one. So on push strategy react to the input whenever the input data changes immediately it will re-render the component and also its child components so for this reason what we need to do is instead of having this one so we need to add it in our let's close me this one on so you need to add it in our parent component so this is our parent component right here we will be having in such a way that count is equal to zero and in the constructor you will be writing the same thing set interval okay set interval off and here you will be oh sorry set interval and we need to change the input variable for this one so here i can write it something like thousand okay and here i will be sending it as a thousand here we will be writing it this dot count plus plus so now we are writing it like this here so now if you go into our constructor is completed right so now if you go into our parent component.html and in this parent component.html so app f and child f and default why it is showing error we don't know so let's go to here in this one and i will pass this count value count is equal to count i am pass i am passing this count value now here in our child push component.ts file so here in this one so what we need to do instead of having this one as like this so we need to take it as an input variable okay so we need to take it as an input variable and this input should be count plus plus and there is no need for us to pass this set interval okay and input variable is there and count is there so everything is working fine and is angular component imports in, imports what is this happening cannot bind to count since it is in uh, yeah finish right so we have implemented that one yeah now if we try to see the count value so whenever in our parent.component.ts file so it is getting updated so in console in errors is there so nothing is there so we are sending the count value and here in this input variable we are taking it and the parent.component.ts file so here we are updating the count okay and yeah here now if you try to see here this one is also change detection strategy on push also is getting updated so this is one way where we can where we can make this one pass and the another situation where we will be having is the uh, what i can say is so the input component input changes right if you so input is also working fine so the second scenario where this on push strategy will be happened is so whenever you get an uh, events so whenever an event is originated for example now we will try to remove this uh, input thing and all those things so here i will remove this input okay and i will be removing this input thing and let's go to the child uh, child push component dot yes so right now we are having a count is equal to zero so in which scenario this count is get, will get updated so that is scenario is so if you go here into this one and if you have an div element okay you are having a button and update count so if you are having like this update count and here you can have something like on click is equal to update count and this update count let's go to the child component and here you will write the update count okay and here we will be writing it as this dot count plus plus so now 
whenever we are updating whenever an event happens now if you try to see here so in this scenario also the count will be updated so that means angular runs the change detection when an event is originated from the component or any of its children this includes dom events like clicks form inputs etc like that one. so this is also one scenario clicking on that button triggers the update count method leads to the change detection so this is one way and the last way which uh, not the last way and the another way which we can uh, <coughs> uh, detect the change detection is there is nothing but using the async pipe so for this one what we need to do is so here instead of having the count as a number we will have a count as an observable so now here what we will try to do is i will make this one as of yeah so now what i will try to do is count dollar okay this one is a count dollar and this is of type observable okay observable so this should be of type observable of number so you will be having a number so now what i will try to do is so here in our constructor okay in our constructor so let's come into this one yeah in our constructor we need to create a new one new observable count dollar is equal to new observable of it will have a subscriber okay it will have a subscriber and what it will try to do is so i will run the set interval okay set interval and in this set interval so if for every 1000 millisecond uh 1000 milliseconds i will try to subscriber subscriber dot next of and i will take this uh, value as zero okay so i will take the initial value as zero and all the time i will try to pass the value plus plus that's it so now i am trying to pass this one so now this observable will be incrementing all the time with one two three like that so how we can use this one is using the async pipe here instead of using it like this we can use counter dollar async automatically this one will be subscribed so there is no need to unsubscribe and all those things there is no need so here we are getting an error because we need to import the common module okay let's import the common module that's it now if you try to see here if i refresh this page hopefully this one has to work now now it is refreshing now if you see here the output for this one hey what is happening this much time it is taking my system is slow i think let's see here yeah it's run page has been reloaded let's wait for some time see now the output has been came so now the count is also getting updated because of this observable thing so whenever an observable is there so when using the async pipe in the templates angular subscribes to that observable and runs the change detection whenever the observable emits a new value so that is one thing okay here the async pipe automatically so whatever try to see here the async pipe automatically triggers the change detection when the count dollar emits <coughs> So apart from these all the things, three ways we have seen it, right? Using the input and also events firing whenever we trigger the events and also the observable emits the data. So these are the three places where the change detection automatically runs in the on push. So now we can also manually trigger the change detection also. For example, let's say that let's go to the old one. That is nothing but uh, what I want to do is count is equal to zero. Okay. So normally we are having count is equal to zero. And for what we have written here, so in this one we have written set interval of and here we will be writing this dot count plus plus okay and here you will be having 1000 milliseconds so this is our normal thing and here also we will be using count so but here automatically this will not get updated okay so automatically this one will not get updated so here this one is getting updated but this one is not updating why because by default it is in the on push for set interval or set timeout so the change direction will not run so in order to run this one means we need to manually trigger change detection can be manually triggered using the change detector ref and mark for check or detect changes method so here i will try to do private i can use cdr whatever the variable and here change detector ref okay so this should be imported from the angular core and here for this one so we have injected it right so whenever the data is getting updated so you want to uh, detect the changes means so you can write cdr dot so you can use detect changes or mark for check so you can have it like this anything so now if you try to update so automatically so see here the value is also getting updated so here we are manually 
uh, telling to the angler that to detect for the changes so these are the four ways in which the change detection strategy in angler in the on push will work so one is input and another one is the events firing and the third one is the using the emit observables emitting the data using the sync pipe and the fourth one is the manually triggering via change detector ref so these are the four ways which we can use the change detection strategy on push so hope you understood about this all the concept i will commit this entire code in our video hyphen 30 so whoever want to refer this code means i will be providing the github repository in the description below so you can have a take a look at that one change detection on push right so that's it guys about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you